Mr. Wayne, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Would you like to? As you wish, sir. No, not now. All right, then. Hey. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always gonna be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to make our way to Tim Pine's Bluff. But before we do, let's go ahead and put a few levels into our character here. So let's go in our Pip-Boy. And I'm going to put another level into Gunslinger. And then one into Sneak. Uh, we'll put one more in to sneak. That should be good for now. We'll be a little sneakier. Not really a crazy amount, but a little sneakier. For now, let's go ahead and start making our way towards... Tim Pines Bluff. I have uh, been working hard on Sanctuary, by the way. I just have ran out of material. Hopefully, uh, I can get some more after this episode and start building on it some more. It's a work in progress. Alright, we're going to make a left here, by the way. We're going to follow the shoreline. Tried to make sure I found the easiest uh, route possible for everyone. Oop. Oop. See a doggy. What? The hell is going on? There we go. I was like right on that dog. just walk alongside here you can loot over there if you'd like um i'm not going to it's not that important to me Ooh, whoa what the fuck is that oh that's a mole rat oh and a raider over there 
We gotta be careful. There is a raider encampment um, with three raiders. Let's open up this uh, circuit breaker lid here. Nothing there now. And then we'll follow this pipeline up here. Open the lid for some cap stashes. Three to be precise. All right, we want to try to get the drop on these raiders. Let's take out the dog first. There's one off in the distance. I see him. Spread out. Find him. There you are, you little bastard. Well, that sucked. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm using vats. I'm better just not. Oh, wow, I killed these two, like, literally right next to each other. Gunner's bandana. Ooh, nice, Radex. Right here, um, by the dilapidated house, we can find a cap stash and a pistol. We want to go up uh, this embankment here, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to go around the side. It's easier that way to find uh, the little... I guess it's... Like a little hideout or something. I would assume it is. But be prepared because we're going to be ambushed after we loot the hideout. Oh, nice. We get a little rain? Maybe? Maybe? No. Guess not. Thought it was going to rain. Oh, yeah. Maybe it is. Alright. Grab some... Ammunition and jet. Okay, dog meat. I really need you to back the huh? fuck up. Here and shit. Yeah. Poor dog. All right, let's go ahead and continue this way. We're going to go to the junkyard here. We're going to get a magazine. This is going to be a hot rodder uh, magazine. But before we do, let's go over here. Loot this trunk. And then uh, grab some flamer fuel. We're actually going to turn on the um, sentry bot. It won't attack us. But, um, yeah. It'll attack other stuff. There we go. There's the Hot Rodder magazine. Come on, dog meat. I hyped you up to be the best dog in the wasteland, and now you're being the most annoying dog in the wasteland. <laughs> Let's play the hollow tape. Activate Sentry Bot. Yes. And then we'll just eject it. Alright, we'll leave him to uh, guard the junkyard there. Right now, we're going to go to the Satellite Array, Olivia. Also, if you're looking for some more power armor, I think there's some right over there. I think it's 
right there, actually, I think the suit is. I'm not a big fan of the power armor in Fallout 4. I'm pretty sure I already said that, but I'll say it again. Oh my god, this pipe pistol fucking sucks. I mean, it is a pipe pistol, though. So. Got a caution. Hey, who's there? We want to be careful. Oh, I just noticed those bloat flies were hovering over this Brahmin. Please don't be ferals again. Oh my god, just die, dog. Execute a critical hit. You can execute it by pressing square. Um, I believe X on the Xbox. And again, I'm not sure on the... Um, on the uh, PC. But I'm pretty sure everybody playing knows the controls by now. Alright, let's go up here and go grab the uh, raider loot off their body. There you go. And then we'll go up top real quick and go into this ammo um, stash and just grab that. I don't want any other loot. There's no other loot that's going to entice me. If I'm being honest. Alright, grab some jet. And then let's crouch and I'll see everybody inside Satellite Station Olivia. All right, um, just keep moving, I suppose. Be very careful. Get the laser trip wire. Don't let dog meat run through it, because then that's really bad. <laughs> He'll trip it off. But if you look up, you'll see the Tesla arc. Let's hack this terminal and open up the door back there. All right, now that we have the Intel room opened up, we can grab this U.S. Cobra nice. Operations Manual and grab the mini nuke. <laughs> Whatever you do, grab the mini nuke. Whether you want to sell it or use it later for a fat man. Let's go ahead and uh, unlock this safe. That's it. All right. And then just grab everything in there. Um, there's a ton of loot in here as well. What the? What the? What the? Come around that corner, bastard. You too. Come on. Shit. What? Oh, I see him. Time to reel him in. <laughs> Mother <laughs> fuck. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I did level up my um armor. I know that's a little late into the walkthrough, but I did level up the leather pieces I had picked up. So don't forget to do that. It will save you some grief in the long run. Let's unlock the Kim box here. Got it. Hop down. 
Grab the fusion core. So I've been thinking about it. DB Tech. Still? You know Who's it. There? Real. Ah! Switch teams? I think it's the right move. Yeah, Bosco's a little out there. But they got that school locked down tight. Seems a good place to call home. Stupid idea, man. Stupid idea. Yeah, well, you'll see. Grab the overdue book. You want to collect as many overdue books as you can um, now before we're going to need them later. I get a level as soon as I go to heal. Awesome. Now I feel super stupid. Good loady, Miss Wody. Oh, man. I can't believe I just used two stim packs. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well. Actually, it doesn't suck that bad because... We can get more stim packs fairly easily. Yo, psst. Let's go ahead and put some uh, items in dog meat. All right, dog meat is completely full now. Okay, so this locket is important as well. This will come in handy for a later quest, which I don't know. It might be another episode or two in before we uh, get to it. For now, let's unlock this door. Yes. Should be some more rad roaches here in a minute. Yep. There we go. Wow. Those guys. Dog meat, really? I just shot dog meat in the ass. Okay. <laughs> Shooting dog meat in the ass because he just won't move. Awesome. Come over here, grab some Radex or Radaway. It can be Radaway sometimes as well. So if you couldn't um, hack the terminal, by the way. Oh, fucking stupid Radroach. Uh, if you couldn't hack the terminal, there's an Intel room key. Pick it on up. And then come over here and loot the uh, stash or the first aid, not the stash. Uh, again, let's go ahead and unlock this. Nice. All right. Now we are all done with Satellite Array Olivia. Right there's a terminal for anybody that wants to read it. Again, I'm pretty sure it goes without saying by now. I'm not going to read it. Um, did we loot that? No, we did not. Alright, I'll see everybody outside. Alright. Let's crouch. There's some mole rats over here. Yeah, rabid mole rat. Try to get the drop on him. Of course, I thought I killed him. Oh, shit. Huh. That's the one I wanted to be careful for. He's always there, too. Where the hell did... Bastard. Damn annoying. Alright, so... The best way to do this is number one. Let's put our pit boy uh or pit boy on. 
Let's go to data, go to quests, and go to the first step. Um, I forgot to turn this quest on. This would help. But we want to go towards the quest marker, which is straight east from Satellite Array Olivia. We come down here into the junkyard. We're going to fight a few mongrels, like three or four, something like that. We can see one walking in the distance there. Got him. There's another one over here. Ugh, come on. The controls are not working with me today. Or I'm being a little too impatient. One of the two. Probably the latter. There should be another one or two. It's going to pop up. I, I swear. I'm going to go to looting and it's going to pop up re behind me. If we come over here, we'll find a uh, caps, couple cap stashes, actually, in this blown-out safe. Yep, there's a mongrel. Got him. Oh, uh, there's another one. Here he comes. And he's an alpha. I... Yeah, that's what I want. Come on. And that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just keep moving over this way. And then we're going to make our way to Tim Pines. Hey. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, But honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, It'll be a welcome change for the better. All right, what we want to do is we want to make our way south here. Matter of fact, southwest is where we're heading. You'll start seeing a billboard off in the distance here. And that's... Um, not really where we're heading, but it's in the right direction. Um, I think there's... A grave of some sort over here too pretty sure ah yes and a rad roach there we go um tarberry isn't really important to me at the moment if we come up here we can do all this platforming some jumping for a single 45 Oh damn, back off dog meat. Oh wow, 
It's a legendary at that. Well. Nice. Not bad. That's an okay uh, pipe pistol. So if we hop down, come down to the road, hang a left, we'll go straight down and we're going to go into the thicket excavations, which we just discovered. We're going to go in the first trailer that we see here. Grab a cap stash, and then we have a Kim box to unlock. Sweet. Grab some jet, psycho tats. Um, grab the stim pack. Then I guess we got a tool case to unlock as well. Yes. Fusion core. And then if you want to go into that terminal, it'll uh, give us a little bit of backstory on the guy we're about to meet. We want to go over to this trailer, though, and grab a Bingo. Taboo Tattoos. That is our third magazine in this um, episode. So everybody give a round of applause. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's talk to this guy real quick. <clears throat> Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was going to give you something anyway. 75 caps for your time? I'm not sure if I'm up for it. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Not gonna make this easy, are you? All right, 100 caps then. You want this pump fixed, right? Throw in a few more caps and you've got a deal. Okay, 125, but that's it. Any more and I'll just do it myself. What do you need help with? Uh, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. Alright, um... First things first. Let's put... Uh, well, let's go over to inventory, but let's put our level in. I want to... I was thinking sneak, but I think we'll be better off putting a level into gun nut. By the way, with Charisma, if I gain another level off um, screen here, I'm probably going to put it into Local Leader. Uh, that's just to help build my settlement up. And I'll probably put two different levels into that. So, we'll see. We'll see how everything works out. Just giving everybody a heads up. If I have an extra level or two... Um, and you're like, well, I didn't see what you put it into. It's just put into local leader for um, the settlement building. That's what I'm trying to say. Be sure to take some Radex. Be sure to quick save before talking to Sully, by the way. You want to try to get as many caps out of them as you can. The first uh, knob we got to turn is right there. <laughs> then we... Come over to where the bubbles are. Kind of spewing up here. Go straight down. <sighs> and then again, we'll come over here. And the next one is just right there. They're not hard to find. <sighs> Pretty easy. And then we'll get out of here. Let's put our 10 millimeter pistol on. We're going to want to use this. We're really going to want to use this. Hmm. What if I redirect the flow through here? Excuse me. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. That's done it. Just listen to her go. Wait a second. Did you hear that? Take that Let's one do out. this. Yep. I knew he was going to come up behind me. What just happened? 
Just be careful. Try ah. to let dog meat Look take aggro. You do not want to accidentally hit Sully. He will there aggro pretty quickly. To... Ah, there it is. Hey there. Meyer looks. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that stirred him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. Sweet. 125 caps. And halfway to another level. Use a stem pack. We come out here. We're going to hang a, a right. I almost said hang a left. Don't hang a left. Go right. Uh, we're going to walk down the road here. And then we're going to hang a left here at the power lines in between them. This is going to send us to the rail yard. Uh, let's switch over to our pipe pistol. We want to conserve ammunition on the um, 10 millimeter pistol until we get some more. It is our strongest weapon at the moment, but we probably shouldn't try to waste ammunition for no reason. Oh, come on. This pipe pistol sucks. So bad. Eventually, we will not be using the pipe pistol. We want to be really careful. There is a lot of ghouls over here. Off in the distance, you can kind of see them. Stow a Molotov over here. It'll light the ghouls up. Light them up. Yeah, we have some ghouls running at us already. Dog meat. You know, if you run in front of me, it's harder for me to shoot them. I have to say, though, sometimes the AI is just not good. But I mean, it is a video game. No matter what, video game AI, I think it's just hard to get down. There's so many variables. It says I'm in danger. I don't see... Z. I hear him. Don't see him. Oh well. Oh, a well. There's some more lore in the terminal. Eventually, I'll stop telling everybody that. Whoa, the frames just dropped really bad there. All right. I thought there was a med kit. Ah, there it is. First aid kit or whatever. There he is. Oh, there you are, bastard. Where were you? He was hiding somewhere. There's that guy. Looked like something was on the ground there. I wasn't sure what, but... Looked like something. We have another one... Well, another ghoul, just right here, kind of hiding. There we go. We come back over here, and you look down there, there's like a little star thing. It usually means like a stash. The, rail, the railroad has stashes uh, hidden all over the Commonwealth. If you pay attention to... Uh, different walls and whatnot as you're exploring you'll find stashes uh, places um, where you don't want to go you know they'll have like an X on them and whatnot it's pretty cool let's go up here we're gonna go into a terminal and grab out a hollow tape it 
It's half past. She's late. No. Something's wrong. Someone's coming. Look. Five of them. It's a trap. Damn it. They've got us surrounded. What do we do? Uh, I'll draw them off. Give me a count of ten. Then uh, break for the tree line. What? Dutchman, I... There's no time. Good luck, A-9. All right, let's eject the hollow tape now. And then we'll exit the terminal. There's nothing in oh, There's nothing in this uh tra train uh car. God. <laughs> I cannot talk today. We're going to um discover Starlight Driving and then we're going to cut the video. And when we come back, we're going to go to the Corvega um, assembly plant. Wait, wait, Kevin. I don't want to die. No more from you. You're not replacing me. Um, what? Oh God. It's going to kill me. No more from you. You're not replacing me. You can't do this. Anyone, please help. Please. You've got to help me. This guy's a synth, and he's going to kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Please, you've got to believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Um. Um. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. You're with the Institute? Hey, look. This guy knows I'm a synth, so just help me take care of him, all right? Otherwise, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Mm. Just kill this thing and be done with it. What? No! <laughs> well, I mean, it's I dead. found out that he, he, he was a synth. I need you to get, get a synth out of here. component. God, I'm still shaking. All right. <laughs> I was wondering if I was going to get that right or not. That one's kind of a rare encounter for me. I don't really get that encounter very much, so. All right. With that being said, let's go ahead and discover the Starlight Drive-In. We'll put our weapon away, and um, we'll end the video here. And when we come back... We'll uh, go to the Corvega assembly plant, and we'll probably get a few more magazines, and I believe a bobblehead. I think we'll get the repair bobblehead in the next episode, but I'll quit blabbering on and tell everybody, thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It'll always help the channel. It'll help me improve my channel and uh, know what I'm doing wrong. So until next time, everybody, I would like to tell you all have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.